One of our best purchases, in my opinion, is actually our front door. We thought maybe we made the wrong decision. <laughs> Word of advice, don't have a, don't be too hard on yourself. Um, and then our backsplash, it actually, a lot of people think it's stone. It's just stick on wallpaper. My whole perspective on life changed. Hey guys, I'm Charlie. And I'm Nicole and we're Outback Schoolie. We bought our bus uh, in June of 2020. It took us about nine months to do the conversion and we've been living in it since, so about two months now. Come on in, come check it out. Come see the tour. All right, this is our kitchen. It's my favorite part of the bus. Um, I just love the colors that we picked and I love how everything kind of flows with the reds and the whites that you saw earlier. Um, but we have a butcher block countertop. Charlie was trying to figure this out for such a long time, how to make this L shape, but we ended up just getting one wide piece of butcher block. This is actually how wide it was originally. And then uh, we just cut out this L shape, so it works really nice. We still have this counter space right here in the corner, which gives us a little bit of extra room. Uh, so we usually just use this area to prep anything that we cook, so chopping goes here. And then we have our fridge underneath here, so this is an Avanti side-by-side um, -side fridge, so the freezer's on the left here, and then the actual fridge is on the right here, so plenty of space for all the food. I mean, we buy up to at least a week worth of food, and we have no problem storing everything. Then we have an undermount sink, which uh, was mostly just because I wanted the aesthetic of that. But it's nice, it's big, we can wash dishes and dry them all within our sink. Um, we just have some produce in the back. And then we have our Furion stove over here. Uh, so there's an oven here, it's just all propane. Uh, and then we have the iron cast on the top. Um, and then our backsplash, it actually, a lot of people think it's stone. It's just stick on wallpaper. Uh, if you get really close, you can probably tell, but I think from far away, it still looks okay. And then the upper cabinets, so these were really difficult to do. We had a carpenter that we hired that just helped us with a lot of the woodwork because we wanted it to look sleek and professional. So he came during the week actually and taught Charlie a lot of how to do this. So that was awesome. And then at the same time, he helped us get our bus done a lot quicker than we would have without him. Um, but their biggest complaint of the design I came up with was these cabinets. So the hinges were pretty difficult to put on because the frame we have is pretty slim, uh, but it ended up working and here we are and I love them. So I'm happy. <laughs> Everything up here is storage. So all of our plates and cups are over here to the mm. left. Um, we don't have any drawers, if you notice, except this large one down here. So our silverware is also up here. It's just in um, a big container. And then it's our pantry as well. So our food, our seasonings, all of that is gonna be on the right side here. Um, and same thing, we really don't have any issues with storage. We found that we have more than enough that'll fit in these upper cabinets. The lower cabinets, so this is just your typical under sink cabinet. So our cleaning supplies and kind of anything we don't have a space for goes under there. And then all of our pots and pans and um, cooking wares in this bottom drawer down here. This is our entryway. Um, so we have shoe storage up at the front here because we don't have any shoe storage in our closet or anything. So everything just gets tucked away there, works perfectly. Um, all of our switches are up here for our water heater, our lights, our propane tank, that all lives at the front here. Here we have our hanging plant to give it a little homey touch. And then we just have some cabinets up at the front here. There's not too much storage. Um, we have a couple books up there and then some electronics and things like that. And then these side ones, there's nothing in them. They're just our speakers. So we use this cane webbing to allow the sound to come through them. And I like the way it looks. And then just a couple features up with the driver's area. So we have a backup camera. Obviously we cannot see behind us. So the backup camera helps when we're reversing. Um, and then we have a nice media player. So that does directions and music for the speakers. This is our living room slash Nicole's office space slash couch slash second bedroom. This is our dinette area. Um, this table actually folds down to a little bed as well. Uh, it also backs up as Nicole's office so she's able to work. Uh, we've got storage under these chairs. Uh, we basically a little storage that we can hold. Uh, we've got a little cat and so we hold a litter and stuff. We've got a little kangaroo which a buddy of mine bought to us, his name's Greggles. Um, he's got some Aboriginal paintings. So we are the Outback Schoolie. Uh, the Outback being massive in Australia. Um, everyone likes to go to the Outback. So some of the color schemes that you'll see th throughout the entire bus will be kind of like the Outback theme. As you can see, this side, 
these side wall panels here, this is just pine wood. We stained them twice and polyed as well. Kind of gives it that rusty uh, wood feel. This is our couch. It folds down. It folds down to a double bed. Um, we've got storage underneath here as well. Our towels, uh, extra blankets and stuff like that. We keep in there. We made these couches. Um, as you can see, this is fur leather that we used. Uh, we cut it cut out a plywood, piece of plywood, he added the cushions and then we've just leveled it up and stapled it together. Um, they work really nice, actually really, really comfortable. The ceiling here, we've got uh, PVC panels that we bought from Home Depot. Uh, super easy to use, they're waterproof. Uh, we just glued them up and then just a couple of nails through the top. We also installed a blackout curtain uh, that comes across. Gives us a bit of privacy during the night. Also blocks out the sun during the day as well, keeps it cool. Uh, just a little feature we put in, super easy. We've got our Wii Boost, uh, which is our uh, internet that kind of boosts our signals so we'll be able to work uh, from the bus. Charlie and I met, we met in 2015. Uh, we got married in 2016, we knew it was meant to be. Charlie's always been I mean, I married him because his outlook on life is that you live life to the fullest and don't regret a single day. Um, and I wasn't that way until uh, my mom actually passed away in 2016. And then my whole perspective on life changed. So since then, uh, we've been trying to take advantage of life to live every day to the fullest. Uh, Charlie really brings that out in me and I appreciate it. So we saved up money for a long time and then decided that we wanted to give up most of our things and travel internationally. So we backpacked in 2019. As you walk through the kitchen, you enter a hallway. At the end of the hallway, we have our cubic mini stove, uh, which also backs up as our little fireplace as well. So this stove's really cool, um, it's super small, pretty cute. Chuck some wood in there. Um, as it heats up, the fan goes, we've got a little thermal fan. Uh, we can move the fan around and we'll just project all the heat to wherever section we want to go. So we'll heat up the tire bus. Takes a little while, um, but it eventually gets the job done. We built this little section here with slats. Uh, we needed a place to put all the wood, um, just an extra bit of storage space as well. So underneath here, we got all the wood stacked up. We also tiled underneath the wooden, um, wood burning stove as well uh, to keep, keep it from getting hot. And yeah, this was a fun project doing this. It was one of the uh, highlights of the bus, in my opinion. Uh, just being able to see a fire in the bus was really cool. Over here to the right is our emergency exit. We're still in the process. So we've, we've only been on the road for a couple of months. Uh, we're still in the process of actually doing more additions to the bus. Uh, but eventually I want to be able to put a slide out deck that comes out. So Nicole and I will be able to sit at the front there and see the sunset, the sunrise, you know, cliche. Um, yeah, that is our hallway to our mini stove. All right, now we are in our bathroom, which I said the kitchen was my favorite part. I feel like they're a close tie, but this was the very first place we designed and where we came up with the coloring and exactly what we thought the color scheme and aesthetic of the bus was gonna be. Um, so the first thing we picked out was the tile. I originally thought I wanted this entire space to be black and I kept going back to the same exact colors over and over. So we picked up this herringbone tile that crisscrosses on the floor and then we wanted to make sure we had an accent wall that ran all the way up the shower and then just some hexagon marble tile. Um, it's all ceramic tile. People ask us all the time, how does it hold up when you're on the road? Uh, my answer right now is that we've gone over terrible roads. <laughs> just this week we went over a washboard road where Everything fell down, but our tiles are still holding strong, so we feel good about that. A nice feature here, you can tell our bus slants. Some don't slant as much. Ours curves pretty bad. So I wanted to make sure the shower was here, but the skylight gives us about six extra inches of headroom. Um, so this nice rainfall shower head fits. And then anytime we're washing our hair, Charlie's obviously taller than me. We fit just fine. So it works great. We did want to make sure this was a pretty big space. It, was important to both of us that we had a big space for our bathroom. We wanted to be clean. So we had a big space for our shower. And then we also wanted to separate our kitchen sink from our bathroom sink. Just to me, you use them for two totally different purposes. So we built it ensuring we had space for a vanity, which is why we came up with this L shape. I was so sad that we had to have a bathroom vanity. So our vanity, it's only about 20 inches wide, so it fits perfect. And then it gave us that nice L shape in the kitchen. So we have our vanity. It has one drawer of storage, which is perfect 
for pretty much all we need. That's just down here. Um, our mirror, our light fixture, and then on this left wall over here, we just have some built-in wall storage where we keep you know, our skincare that we use every single night. Um, it's just easy. And then the final nook, which is over to the right here, is our toilet nook. Our toilet is a Nature's Head composting toilet. Definitely something we had to get used to. There's probably one of the bigger transitions is getting used to a composting toilet over a normal toilet, but I wouldn't change it. We didn't want to deal with a black tank, so the composting is perfect for us. That sits on top of our wheel well, so it sits up a little bit. Uh, Charlie still fits. Shoulders hit the edges a little bit, but he does okay. I fit just fine. Um, we just wallpapered the back. We have some shelves on the back there, just some extra storage again, um, and we had to put our neon light back there. Our ceiling boards are just cedar tongue and groove. We polyed the heck out of them, uh, but I love the natural wood look it gives. All right, and then we have this curtain track, which is really nice. We didn't want it to be a fully wet bath. We didn't want our outlets to get wet. Uh, so this curtain track, it's flexible. It's able to fit really in any space, so I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to close off a funky space. So when we're showering, we just close it off and then the rest of the bathroom's still dry by the time we get out. And then also living in a tiny space, people think like there's really no privacy or anything like that. We did our layout so we had privacy. We wanted our bathroom to have privacy. So we have this accordion door here. So we can just shut that like that. And then everything's closed off from the bathroom if we want to do any business in private. All right, coming from the bathroom, we lead into the bedroom, but first we stop in this nice hallway here. Uh, so same thing here, this is just um, cane webbing. So we just cut out some inserts and some wood, and then uh, we took the lazy route and stapled everything, but it you can't tell, right? This closet on your left is our electrical closet. So we have our 2000 watt um, inverter and charger system. And then uh, we have 400 amp hours of lithium batteries so we can discharge those 100%. And then up on the roof, we have uh, 1,050 watts of solar panels. So we've been out west for the most part and are the lowest our energy has gotten is about 70%. So we've had no issues at all with what we have, but we'll see how we go when we're back in Wisconsin in the winter or something like that. We also have a shore power hookup. So if we need to plug in, we can do that. And then our um, when we're driving the bus, we're able to charge our batteries as well. So three different ways to charge them. And then over on this side, we have our clothes closet. So this is all of our clothes storage. Um, on the left here, we didn't build any of our drawers. We just got this system from Ikea. Uh, it was pretty cheap. We didn't do like the custom install. We just got this drawer set they had. But now we're able to have seven drawers. Uh, Charlie gets two. I got about four of them. <laughs> uh, I store my makeup in here. And then we have a clothing rack. It's an 18 inch clothing rack, which again, about 75% is mine, 25% is Charlie's. Um, but it works perfect for us. All the clothes that we have fit right in this closet. The only extras we have is like a winter coat, winter boots, which we store under our bed. Welcome to the last room, uh, which is also my favorite room, the bedroom. Uh, this is where the magic happens. We have a queen size bed, which folds up. We've got a hundred gallon water tank underneath. Also a ton of storage uh, where we keep our tools and, and everything that we need is under the bed. So heaps of storage uh, in the bed. We have, with our hundred gallon water tank, uh, gives us the opportunity to live off grid for about a, a week and a half uh, with our solar and the water, uh, which we're really fortunate about that. On our left side here, uh, is my desk area. So I'll also will be working on the road. Um, I built this desk area so uh, to have like a bit of storage. As you can see, it will folds up, ton of room under there. We have a bit of privacy as well. So Nicole work at the front, I'll work on the side. Uh, also on the right side is also a stand up desk where sometimes I put the laptop up here as well and work. We've got our little um, smart TV that also taps in as a, as a monitor. Underneath, the stand-up desk, we have our wash and dry combo. We just chuck the clothes in, it washes and dries, uh, come back in a couple of hours and we will have fresh clothes. <laughs> Nicole actually decorated the side here. We've got some palms, we got some fake leaves. Uh, gives a bit of a touch to the Outback uh, style. We have our curtains. Our auntie and Shirley helped us with these curtains. I love them because they're kind of like the swag look. In Australia, having a swag, it's like a sleeping bag that folds up. Um, which is kind of similar to look. If you Google swag, this is what it kind of looks like. It rolls down. We've got two options in here. We can roll it up and just has the sunshade, 
little light to come in. We can either roll up this way or we can roll up the entire way, but it also insulates the bedroom, keeps it cool, keeps it warm uh, during the winter months. As you see throughout the entire build, we have the ceiling, which is the same. Uh, we've got the pine wood, which is stained. We've got a lot of lights in here as well. So we've got the reading lights come over the side of the bed. We've also got the lights that track through the top here. We made sure we had a ton of outlets. Uh, we've got the US USB ports down the left here. And we've got a couple outlets. We are going to install a AC mini split uh, next week. I'm going to put up the top here to keep it nice and cool. Uh, we do have a cat and her favorite hiding spot. Her name's Baby and her favorite hiding spot is actually behind the pillows. <laughs> you can see. I love this place. I love this spot. I love this area because I feel like I'm a little, little nest. Makes me feel cozy. Charlie and I both work full time, which is how uh, we're able to stay on the road and go all the places we want to go. Right now I work for a healthcare technology company. I work in account management and that's fully remote unless I'm traveling to see my customers, which isn't happening right now with COVID. I'm in real estate in Chicago. Um, I work with the high rises and basically during the pandemic, uh, we had to make a decision to go virtual and I kind of just continued that uh, rolling forward. So it's a, a little bit harder not being um, in Chicago doing the real estate, but um, it's, we, can, we can make it work. Welcome to the outside of the bus. Uh, we have a 2003 Thomas HDX uh, rear, rear engine pusher. It has 114,000 miles with a Mercedes Benz engine. One of our best purchases, in my opinion, is actually our front door. Um, I, got, I got this deal at Habitat of Humanity. It was 20 bucks. Actually, I was in the market for a door to fit. Uh, it's actually this space. There was a custom made door that I found and I thought it was beautiful and I bought it home and it fits. It has the visibility to be able to see. So when I'm driving, I didn't want a closed off door. I wanted something with windows so I'm able to see what's beside me, especially doing those sharp turns. Um, it just kind of helps um, quite a bit with those with the visibility. 20 bucks, Habitat of Humanity, and I know it's a great spot. Um, we also purchased a lot of our material from there as well. Moving on to our paint job. Now we chose these colors, uh, orange, green, white, and kind of uh, pinkish uh, to resemble the outbacky sort of colors. So the hardest part of our build is actually, if anyone asks, is the painting, prepping the bus from the yellow. So you can imagine this was completely yellow. Uh, we had to get the decal, decal the entire bus. It took us a couple of weeks. Really happy with it, how it came out. Coming over to our storage compartments, we do have a couple of, we don't have as much storage as a lot of buses, but we do have a few containers that we use. Uh, one of them is our is holding our propane tanks. We've got two 11 pound propane tanks, uh, which has been pretty good. We've been on the road for a couple of months and they haven't run out yet. And then the other storage on this side holds our recreational stuff, our, our rugby ball, uh, also our tools um, and, our, and also our hose uh, that we keep to fill up, the, fill up the water tank. On the other side of the bus, we have our gray tank um, and also another storage box that we have the hose to kind of connect it to release the gray water. Um, and yeah, we have the batteries on that side as well. Also on our outside of the bus, we installed these outside lights, uh, kind of like spotlights. So it's pretty cool, pretty handy to have. This lifestyle enables us to do a lot of things that we always dreamt about. I think we have a bucket list of national parks and things we want to see um, in the United States. And I think I'm a big believer that life is short and if you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? Um, so just being on the road, being able to just pack your bags, go see another national park, go see another friend, um, and also be able to work and live on the road, um, I think is amazing. Some words of encouragement and advice, uh, which I, I think is important. I think I think you just need to adapt and just do it. I think just do it is, and for us, I think we, we don't come from a, a, a carpentry background. Um, never actually used a tool in my life up until uh, a year ago. So for me to 
you know, I kind of sat there and watched a ton of videos, but it meant nothing unless I just did it and just building, just that's it. The biggest thing is just do it and things are going to happen throughout the course of the build um, and you just need to adapt and it's just part of life and the journey. That's it. Thanks so much for following along on our tour. Thanks for, it's our first time on camera. So thanks for uh, getting through that with us. We enjoyed it so much. But if you have any questions, how Yeah, come check us out. Uh, we're Outback Schoolie on Instagram. Uh, we do have a Facebook page as well, Outback Schoolie. And a TikTok. So, and, a, and a TikTok, <laughs> Outback Schoolie. Uh, come check us out, leave us a comment. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We're, we're happy to help as well. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Our favorite part of all of this is honestly meeting new people. So please, if you have any questions, we're more than happy to help. Just DM us. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for Appreciate coming. Appreciate it.